Nistatin is an antifungal medication used to treat a wide range of fungal infections. It was first discovered in the 1950s and has since become one of the most commonly prescribed antifungal drugs in the world. Nistatin works by preventing the growth and spread of fungi, making it an effective treatment for conditions like thrush, candidiasis, and ringworm. In this video, we will explore how Nistatin works, what conditions it treats, its benefits, dosage and administration, possible side effects, and other important information you need to know when using Nistatin. How does Nistatin work? Nistatin works by binding to the fungal cell membrane and disrupting its structure, preventing the fungi from growing and multiplying. It does this by binding to ergosterol, a key component of the fungal cell membrane. By binding to ergosterol, Nistatin creates pores in the fungal cell membrane, which causes the cell to leak and eventually die. Nistatin is a broad-spectrum antifungal medication, meaning it can kill a wide range of fungal species. It is particularly effective against candida species, which are the most common cause of fungal infections in humans. Nistatin is also effective against other fungi, including Cryptococcus, Trichophyton, and Aspergillus. Nistatin is available in both oral and topical forms. The oral form is used to treat systemic fungal infections, while the topical form is used to treat localized fungal infections of the skin, nails, and mucous membranes. What conditions does Nistatin treat? Nistatin is used to treat a wide range of fungal infections, including Oral thrush Oral thrush is a fungal infection of the mouth caused by the candida fungus. Symptoms of oral thrush include white patches on the tongue, roof of the mouth, and inside the cheeks, as well as redness and soreness in the mouth. Vaginal thrush Vaginal thrush is a fungal infection of the vagina caused by the candida fungus. Symptoms of vaginal thrush include itching, burning, and redness in the vaginal area, as well as a thick, white discharge. Ringworm Ringworm is a fungal infection of the skin that causes a circular rash. It can affect any part of the body, including the scalp, feet, and groin. Athlete's foot Athlete's foot is a fungal infection of the feet that causes itching, burning, and scaling. It is most commonly found between the toes. Jock itch Jock itch is a fungal infection of the groin that causes itching, redness, and a rash. Fungal nail infections Fungal nail infections are infections of the nails caused by the candida or dermatophyte fungus. They can cause the nails to become thick, discolored, and brittle. Benefits of using Nistatin Nistatin has several benefits when used to treat fungal infections, including Effective against a wide range of fungi Nistatin is effective against a wide range of fungal species, making it an excellent treatment option for many different types of fungal infections. Few Side Effects Nistatin is generally well tolerated and has few side effects. Unlike other antifungal medications, it does not affect the liver or kidneys, making it a safer option for those with liver or kidney problems. Easy to use Nistatin is available in both oral and topical forms, making it easy to use and apply. The topical cream can be applied directly to the affected area, while the oral medication can be taken by mouth. Affordable. Nistatin is a relatively inexpensive medication, making it an accessible treatment option for those who may not have access to more expensive antifungal drugs. Dosage and administration of Nistatin. The dosage and administration of Nistatin will vary depending on the type and severity of the fungal infection being treated. The oral medication is typically taken several times a day, while the topical cream is applied to the affected area once or twice a day. It is important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions when taking Nistatin. Do not stop taking the medication early, even if you start feeling better. This can lead to the infection returning or becoming resistant to the medication. Possible Side Effects of Nistatin While Nistatin is generally well tolerated, it can cause some side effects. These may include Nausea and vomiting Nistatin can cause nausea and vomiting in some people. This can often be mitigated by taking the medication with food. Diarrhea Nistatin can cause diarrhea in some people. This is more common with the oral medication than with the topical cream. Skin irritation The topical cream can cause skin irritation in some people. This may include itching, redness, and a rash. If you experience any of these side effects, contact your healthcare provider. They may be able to adjust your dosage or switch you to a different medication. Precautions and warnings when using Nistatin Before taking Nistatin, it is important to inform your healthcare provider of any allergies or medical conditions you may have. Nistatin may interact with certain medications, 
so it is important to inform your healthcare provider of any other medications you may be taking. Nistatin should not be used by pregnant or breastfeeding women without first consulting with a healthcare provider. It is also important to note that the medication can be toxic if taken in large doses, so it is important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions carefully. Nistatin versus other antifungal medications. Nistatin is just one of many antifungal medications available on the market. Other commonly prescribed antifungal drugs include fluconazole, itraconazole, and ketoconazole. While these medications are effective against fungal infections, they can also have more side effects and interact with a wider range of medications. Nistatin is generally considered to be a safer option for those with liver or kidney problems or who are taking other medications. Nistatin Cream versus Nistatin Oral Medication Nistatin is available in both oral and topical forms. The oral medication is typically used to treat systemic fungal infections, while the topical cream is used to treat localized fungal infections of the skin, nails, and mucous membranes. The cream is applied directly to the affected area, while the oral medication is taken by mouth. The choice between the two will depend on the type and severity of the fungal infection being treated. Conclusion and Final Thoughts on Nistatin Nistatin is a powerful antifungal medication that has been around for decades. It is effective against a wide range of fungal infections and has few side effects. Whether you are suffering from oral thrush, vaginal thrush, ringworm, athlete's foot, jock itch, or a fungal nail infection, Nistatin may be an effective treatment option for you. As with any medication, it is important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions carefully when taking Nistatin. If you experience any side effects or have any concerns about the medication, contact your healthcare provider. With proper use and care, Nistatin can be an effective tool in the fight against fungal infections. Candidiasis is a common fungal infection caused by the overgrowth of candida, a type of yeast that naturally resides in the human body. While candida is usually harmless, certain factors can lead to its excessive growth, resulting in candidiasis. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore the causes, symptoms, treatments, and prevention strategies for candidiasis, helping you understand and manage this condition effectively. Understanding Candidiasis Candidiasis can occur in various parts of the body, including the mouth, throat, genitals, and skin folds. The most common type of candidiasis is oral thrush, which affects the mouth and throat. Other types include vaginal yeast infections, diaper rash in infants, and skin infections. Causes of Candidiasis Several factors can contribute to the development of candidiasis. Weak Immune System a weakened immune system due to illnesses like HIV, AIDS, cancer, or certain medications can make you more susceptible to candidiasis. Antibiotics Antibiotics can disrupt the balance of bacteria in the body, allowing candida to overgrow and cause an infection. Hormonal changes Hormonal fluctuations during pregnancy, menstruation, or menopause can create an environment conducive to candida overgrowth. Diabetes Uncontrolled diabetes can increase blood sugar levels, promoting yeast growth. Poor hygiene. Insufficient personal hygiene, especially in skin folds or genital areas, can create an environment for candida to thrive. Tight clothing. Wearing tight, non-breathable clothing can trap moisture and heat, creating an ideal environment for candida to multiply. Symptoms of candidiasis. The symptoms of candidiasis vary depending on the affected area. Here are some common signs and symptoms. Oral thrush. White, creamy patches on the tongue, inner cheeks, or roof of the mouth, along with discomfort or pain while eating or swallowing. Vaginal yeast infection. Itching, redness, swelling, and a thick, white vaginal discharge. Skin infections. Red, itchy, and irritated skin with a rash or patches that may ooze or crust over. Diaper rash. Redness, inflammation, and a rash in the diaper area of infants. Treating candidiasis. The treatment of candidiasis typically involves antifungal medications and lifestyle modifications. Here are some effective approaches. Antifungal medications. Over-the-counter antifungal creams, ointments, or suppositories are available for treating mild yeast infections. For more severe or recurring infections, prescription-strength oral antifungal medications may be necessary. Probiotics. Probiotics can help restore the balance of healthy bacteria in the body, reducing the risk of candidiasis. They are available as supplements or in certain foods like yogurt. Improved hygiene. Practicing good hygiene, including regular bathing, keeping the affected area clean and dry, and changing damp clothing, can help prevent and manage candidiasis. 
Dietary Adjustments Avoiding excessive sugar and refined carbohydrates can help control yeast growth. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and probiotic-rich foods promotes overall health and may help prevent candidiasis. Managing Underlying Conditions Properly managing underlying health conditions such as diabetes or a weakened immune system is crucial in preventing recurrent candidiasis episodes. Preventing Candidiasis Prevention is key to avoiding candidiasis. Here are some preventive measures you can take. Maintain good hygiene. Keep the skin clean and dry, especially in areas prone to moisture and friction. Use mild, fragrance-free soaps and avoid harsh cleansers. Wear breathable clothing. Opt for loose-fitting, breathable clothing made from natural fabrics like cotton to allow air circulation and prevent moisture buildup. Practice safe sex. Use condoms and practice good genital hygiene to reduce the risk of vaginal yeast infections. Avoid douching. Douching disrupts the natural balance of bacteria in the vagina, making it more susceptible to candida overgrowth. Limit antibiotic use. Use antibiotics only when necessary and under medical supervision to minimize the disruption of the body's natural flora. When to seek medical help. If you suspect you have candidiasis or if your symptoms worsen despite home remedies, it is important to consult a healthcare professional. They can provide an accurate diagnosis and recommend appropriate treatment options tailored to your specific condition. Thanks for watching.